what's up guys oh welcome back to my channel i know that it has been quite some time but i am back in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this blue glam look with a pop of color not really sure what to call it but if you are interested in seeing how i achieve this look then just keep watching so i have done my brows off camera um now we are gonna go in and prime and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyelid Primer. This color that we are going into is on set and we're just placing it in our crease. We're just packing on the color and then we're gonna go back in later on to blend it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Morph M321 brush and I'm gonna take the color Intense Worthy and we are gonna start to blend out that crease color. Now I'm gonna go in with Photo Op and I'm gonna place this right below the brow bone and just kinda blend everything all together now. All right, for the lid color, I'm gonna go in with Electric and I'm using the Morph E14 brush. So I am going to place this all over the lid. It's a very pretty blue. And I didn't need to spray my brush because this palette is very pigmented and the colors are so creamy and easy to blend now we are just going to go back and add back those colors that we added in our crease just to blend everything out so i'm first going to go back in with on set and then we're going to go back in with insta wordy And then we're going to go back in with Photo Op. Alright, now we're going to touch up that lid color a little bit more. So we're going to go back in with Electric. Okay, so I want to deepen my crease and my outer V a little bit more. So I'm going in with um juvia's place the saharan palette and i'm going to take the black shade in this palette which is chad and i'm going to pop it on my out of v area and blend it in So we're finished with the eyes for now. Now we're gonna go into our base. So to start, I'm using the NYX Pore Filler Primer. So I'm gonna put this in my pores. So I am focusing this in my T-zone where my pores happen to be a little bit larger. And then to prime the rest of the face, I'm going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And today I'm gonna do, no, today we're not gonna do that. <laughs> this is broken. Oh, okay, so I decided to break. But I was gonna do a bit of color correcting. And this one is the e.l.f. color correcting stick. So I have to use a brush. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the new NARS 
um, soft matte complete foundation. I've had this sitting in my drawer for quite a while, so I'm gonna try it out today. And I got it in the shade New, New Caledonia. So I'm using my Sonia Kashuk flat top foundation brush. Far, I am liking the coverage. I'm gonna go in with um, one more, one more squirt of this, but it's looking good so far. Now we're gonna add our concealer. So for concealer today, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer, and this one is in the shade Chestnut. Okay, and before I blend this out, I'm just gonna let it sit on my face for a little bit. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to contour. So today I am cream contouring and I'm using the Maybelline multi-use, the Maybelline Superstay multi-use foundation stick and this one is in the shade Espresso. Now I'm going to blend out that concealer. You want to take your time when it comes to this side, that way you do not mess up your eyeshadow. Just take your time and blend it out. All right, now we're gonna blend out that contour. Okay, now this step is optional. I just want my under eyes to be a bit brighter. Um, so I went in with a concealer by Maybelline. I don't remember the name but it looks like this and it's in the shade caramel 40. all right while that sits i'm just gonna go in with my foundation brush without any added product and i'm just gonna go over the areas that we highlighted just to make sure that everything is seamless and that there are no harsh lines I'm gonna take this small little blending sponge by Real Techniques and just blend out the inner corner. All right, everything is now blended. It is time to set. So to set today, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 330. And I'm going in with a, a dry sponge, a dry beauty blender, and I'm just going to press that powder in. So I'm not baking. I'm just pressing it into the face. So I am applying this powder in all the areas that I highlighted. All right, now that we have set the face in place, we are now going to finish up the eyes. So I am going to go back in to the festival palette. And I'm going to use the same colors that we used in our crease to smoke out our bottom lash line. So I'm first going to go in with Onset. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna go into the Julia's Place palette and we're gonna take Chad which was that black we're gonna go in with a mixture of insta worthy um, and photo op and we're gonna just blend it up Now it is time to tight line and I don't know if I want to use black or blue. I'm going to use black. I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Glider Gel Liner and this is in the shade Very Black. I'm gonna add some color in the inner corner I'm going back into the pure festival palette and I'm taking the shade utopia and we're just gonna put that in our inner corner for lashes today I'm using the morph premium lashes and these are in the style yes queen okay all right so, all right so i went ahead and popped the lashes on let's go ahead and finish up the face so now we're going to bronze contour snatch the nose i'm going in with a little bit more of that setting powder to the side and the bridge of my nose and we're gonna let it sit there now we are gonna set our contour and I'm using the Ruby Kisses 3D contour palette okay now we are going to bronze the face and we're using the elf contouring and blush palette in Turks and Caicos. We are going to contour the nose a tad bit more. Going back into that Ruby Kisses palette. I'm just going to dust away that excess powder now. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of blush and we are using the NARS blush and this one is in the shade Savage. Now we're going to do a little bit of highlighting and we're using the Maybelline Master Chrome and this one is in the shade Molten Topaz. Alright, and now we are going to set the rest of the face. Um, and to do that, I am using my Sephora. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation Powder. And I'm going to take this powder brush by e.l.f. and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. Okay. Before I go in with mascara, I'm going to set my face and I'm using the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Setting Spray. So we're going to go in with mascara and I'm using L'Oreal. So we're going to first go in with their lash primer. So for lips today, I'm going to line using um, this Wet n Wild Cold Crayon Liner and this one is in the shade Sima Brown. And then 
I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Rock Sand. I'm back, I changed the earrings. I think I'm gonna add a gloss to this. I'm gonna go in with some lip oil. This is by INT Cosmetics. I am not feeling my lip choices. Okay. Be right back. I'm gonna try a pink and hopefully you like it. Um, I'm using Unlocked by Fenty Beauty. Alright guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, that way you never miss an upload. And until next time, bye bye!